In this video, we're gonna go over dumbbell butterfly lateral raises. Now you've probably done the typical lateral raise where you raise your arm up and it's probably to 90 degrees to the ground, maybe a little bit higher, a little bit lower. But what we're gonna do in the butterfly lateral raise is we're gonna take our shoulder joints through, through an entire range of motion, through the entire range of motion. So here's what we're gonna do. Instead of just talking about it, I'm gonna show you a few reps, and then I'm gonna break down the technique for you step by step so you learn how to do it right. Okay, so this is the butterfly lateral raise. As you can see, instead of a typical lateral raise where we're going maybe parallel to the ground or slightly above parallel, I'm taking them all the way over back down. And you might also notice that I'm using some momentum as well. We'll talk about that in a second. So momentum isn't always bad as long as you use it properly. So first of all is you need to choose the right amount of weight, of course. And these you wanna go a little bit lighter on. I'm just using, these are five kilos. So a little bit over 10 pounds, like 11 pounds. And what you wanna do is you wanna get into a position where the weights are slightly in front of you, just like this. So we're gonna be using your legs to generate momentum. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up and you're also gonna use your legs. like that. Why do you want to do that? Well, the hardest position in this exercise is when that dumbbell reaches 90 degrees, when your arm reaches 90 degrees to the ground. But we want to get it all the way up here. So by using some momentum, you can use a heavier weight and you can have a more smooth execution of the exercise instead of trying to slowly grind it out over top. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit of momentum. Again, under control and making sure you're feeling the muscles working. It's one of my favorite exercises because the benefit here is that you work your shoulder joint through a greater range of motion, which is gonna lead to better muscle gains. All right, so really the things that you wanna watch out for is using too much weight and having to use too much momentum or to struggle and grind it out. It's not an exercise where you wanna use a lot of weight. You wanna make sure you use the right amount of weight. The other thing is you wanna keep good posture. You wanna lean back too much. You don't wanna make any uh, rookie mistakes like that. But again, you wanna use that momentum to get the weights up. All right, so if you follow those technique pointers and use this exercise, you can get a lot out of it, more so than just if you take the lateral raises out to the side to 90 degrees. Give it a try and let me know how it goes.